Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how you can install Active Directory on a Windows Server. I have a new virtual machine which I just recently installed it on my Hyper-V and I'm going to show you how you can promote it to Active Directory. First thing first you need to go to Server Manager and ins install the required rules. But before that, you need to have a static IP on your Active Directory. So just make sure first thing you have installed, set up the static IP on your domain controller. I'm going to start and show you a step by step. Okay, I'm going to, okay, first thing I'm going to add rules and features. Okay, click on next, next, next. Okay, here I will choose Active Directory Domain Services, the second options. And add the features, next, next, next. And install so it will add the DNS also as well during the process we don't need to do that okay I will pause the video and come back probably in a couple of minutes after installation was done okay the process was finished now I will cl click on the close now you can see we have a warning here, notification. I will click on it and it's asking for promote the domain controller. So configuration required for Active Directory. I will click on it. Okay, so we have some options here. I don't have a domain controller at the moment to join this new server to that. So I need to have a new, totally brand new domain controller and the forest. I will choose this one and I will call it admin tips. Okay, I will call it admin tips dot local. Okay, so this one is for domain functional level. Since my Windows Server is 2019, the lowest Windows Server can be joined to this domain in future should be Windows Server 2016. So I will leave this one as a default. We need to define a password for directory service restore. This is for later if we have a backup and try to restore it. We need this password. Okay, that's the NetBIOS name. Leave it. Leave that one as a default. Next. So if we pass this step, our domain controller is ready. And just after a reboot, it can be used. So as you can see, it passed everything. Now my domain controller is ready to be promoted. I will click on the install. It will take a while. And after that, we need to restart our server. And the domain controller is ready to use. 
and I can use to log in as a domain as administrator later. I will pause the video till this step finish and restart the computer. After the process finished, servers automatically restarted and as you can see my domain is ready to log in. This is the name of my domain which I choose before. I will use the administrator to log in as the first time. So my domain controller is ready. I will show you the installed rules. This is the list of the service and I have a domain controller, Active Directory users and computers, I have a DNS rules and I have a group policy management. Okay, I hope you learned something from this video and please subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials. Thank you.